<coughs> right, uh, so it's just me this time. Um, right, so this is like a, a follow-up of the elevator showcase, the elevator which uh, I designed and, and made, all on my lonesome. So this is follow-up, and this is the in-depth, well, in-depth the tutorial of uh, how to make it. So I'll just start off by um, showing it again. So button to go up. down. Right, there we go. Um, so I'll, I'll go through all the... I, I, I don't think I'll, I'll put it all together again, but I'll probably give you tips on how to put it together at, uh, at the end or something, because it's very, very complicated. Well, not too complicated, but it's, it's time-consuming if you're like me and you just plonk stuff down. I think if you actually sat down uh, thought about it and drew up a plan, you'd be able to wire it up much better, uh, more effectively, and it wouldn't use up so much space. I like having lots of space to build stuff. So, uh, I'll build like individual things and then put it together. Right, so this is where I'm going to build it. Uh, more keen eyed viewers, I suppose, would notice that this is where the old stuff was, except it's a bit weird. That's because uh, I don't really know how to use. Let's use the, the mod that we've got installed that allows us to do like world edit uh, like in the game. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'll probably go in the description because I've mentioned it now. Uh, there you go, there's some advertising. Anyway, right, so on, on with the show. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to make is a simple redstone clock. This, uh, it up there I've actually put it for some reason to power the going down mechanism but you don't actually need it to go down because going down only requires one pulse rather than several such as the cobblestone generator so to build uh, the redstone clock that I use you need uh, one one there one there and one there Th this can be any block I just use dirt because it's it's easy to see now this block here will be your output block this is where your redstone will lead off and go onto your cobblestone generator uh, here you need one one redstone like that, uh, one redstone repeater that is, one like that, and one going the other way, and you'll see why in a minute. I'll switch uh, the first two to a full, and the last, no, the first two to th three, yeah, three, 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 and the last one to full. So that's full. Now what you want to do is you want to lead some redstone going from here to here so that's uh this is the output block and you're going down along here uh and uh going doing something with that uh i'm not sure but uh that goes there uh this goes um does it go on top I'll just I'll just run up and have a look. So that uh, just just re this is the redstone clock. It's used to power the cobblestone generator because it requires several pulses. Right, so these are anything. So it goes like that. It just goes ah, goes up to the block and then around like that. Okay, right. So we got that. Oh. Right, so on our way back down. Um. You, you actually have like lots of different kinds of redstone clocks but you need quite a slow slow flashing one for the red for the the cobblestone generator or else uh, it won't actually gen uh, the lava won't flow in in front right so this is what it's like uh, that's flashing quite slow now to uh, what you want to do is you want to somehow uh, like stop it uh, get it going by pressing a button so you want to you want to reverse the the power of the button by sticking one of these in now what this will do uh, is it will stop the pulser the clock from working and if I just grab uh, a button now oh, he's got he's got a map to E oh bugger 
I've had to do this on Harrison's computer because uh, for some reason my computer is just so laggy once I start recording. Ugh. Right, so I'll, just, I'll, I'll come back in a minute, okay? Okay, uh, straight back into it. Uh, where was I? Uh, it's, uh, this is the clock. Uh, button, button. Right, so, button there. I use a. Well, I think a button's probably best. Because then, uh, once you put it with a timing system, you can actually, um, like, set how uh, how many cobblestone things you want to come up in a, in a way. But I'll put a lever, so you can turn it off. Right, so you can see that the, the clock's working now. You just turn this on, and it doesn't work anymore. Right, so next, uh, that's the uh, redstone clock. Next up is the cobblestone generator. There are actually lots of kinds of cobblestone generators, but I find the one that I will show you to be the best working, the easiest to build, I suppose. Um, so, so yeah, I need you need lava, water, piston, uh, and some some glass. Well, you don't need glass; you can use any block. But glass is easier for me because I can show you what to do. Or so, if you just put your piston there. And you want to dig a hole in front and to the l left or right, depending on what you want. But any e either way, and you want to put water down there. Now that will flow into there, and that will act as our, our water source to create the cobblestone. Oh, it's getting dark. Slash day. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, and then on this side, what you want to do is you want to... I'll actually put some cobblestone down that I don't know why actually now let's just have it like that right, so then we'll put some some blocks up so that the lava doesn't run everywhere and just put some lava down there so that will flow into there and create cobblestone right, so then uh, if you see when, once I power this pistons uh, it, it, I don't think the piston might work like that, I think. But some things you should know about pistons is they also work if you power a block adjacent to it, I think. Uh, so that that is quite useful in wiring up, I suppose. Because you don't actually need to link all the redstone up to the piston. Anyway, so if I just activate this, um, hopefully... No, no. See that that isn't that isn't working. But if I were to go like this, plop that one there, uh, it still doesn't work. But still, uh, show must go on. I'll just stick that around there. Uh, I'll get rid of that. I have a feeling that glass isn't like, affected by redstone. Right, so that will carry on creating cobblestone until there's 13 blocks, or until you turn it off. Uh, 13 is the maximum you can have on a cobblestone generator in a row, because um, c uh, pistons can only push 13 blocks at a time. Right, so that is the cobblestone generator. Next, I will do the timer. Yeah, the timer. Let's do the timer. Right, so this time I will allow. Nice and sunny. Right, so this timer, what it will allow you to do is it will allow you to uh, change how long you actually give that. Uh, so if you link it up to this instead of the lever, it will change how long you allow this to run, which in turn will change how much cobblestone you generate. So therefore, it will change how mu how high your elevator goes. So to make this, you need redstone repeater, redstone torch, I'll have a door for just to show you, don't need glass, don't need piston, and you need some sort of um, block to put all this stuff on. Right, so what you want to do is you want to have your um, so this is your input. This is what you're going to press. Your button or your lever or your not a lever that won't work. So your button or your pressure plate. 
uh, that sort of stuff. And so what you want to do is you want to put a button down and leave some redstone from the back of it or underneath it I think. I'm not sure. But anyway. So you want to lead, you'll have two bits of redstone coming off. You'll have one going like one way and one going another. Let's do, let's do this way first. Right, so this one will lead up to a block like that and it will have a redstone torch in front of it. Uh, and then adjacent to that, which will be, not that, which will be over here I believe, you'll have another one. And you'll have that going like, that should be closer. No, it should be closer. What am I? What am I talking about? I have. I, I. I'm not sure what I'm talking about actually. So that is like that, and you want the same on the other side. I think. No, that. That's fine. Although you want this actually coming on first, because this one should be unpowered until you press this button. So that will. Um, what's happening here? What's going on here? Controlling me. Stupid redstone. That should work. There we go. Right. Uh, and you also want this will lead off, and this will be your output. We'll just use a door for this one. Right, so at the moment, if I press that, that door will stay open forever. Ever, forever, and ever, and ever. Because uh, I'm not sure, what, I think it's an XNOR gate. I don't know. But if you. Put on like a, a temporary input, like a button or a pressure plate. It will actually stay on forever. But you don't want that. You want some sort of timing mechanism that you can turn it off with. So you just plonk a load of redstone repeaters down. How many you put down will depend on how long you want. Bearing in mind that a redstone repeater, I think it it, uh, it delays it at full for something like a tenth of a second. But anyway, so I'll just set a couple of these up. Obviously, you can change uh, how many uh, like clicks you have on each one, depending on how long you want the power to stay on for. And you want to lead this off round the back to the back of the block, to, to the back of uh, this block here. Right, so if you just want a quick look, so it comes from here. There's the input, comes around here. This is the gate that will stay on forever until, of course, you turn that block off. And this is the timer over here with a few set. Let's so touch. Let's see if this works. Um, right, so that's open, and it's closed again. So that is what I use to set up how how much cobblestone I want. And uh, so what you'll what you'll do is when you build this, you'll build this underground. I think if you want to, unless you want it all above ground, which would be complicated and silly. I don't know why anyone but a fool would want that. Uh, I have a feeling it's running out of memory, but still. Um, oh, good. Um, and then you attach this onto that. So the input will go into here to power this, and then it will come from this block over to your clock, which will come from your clock into your generator, into your elevator. Uh, it seems a bit complicated, but after this, I'll show you how it's all linked up down downstairs. And then, yeah, so, so yeah, so the elevator, elevator. What you want is you want underground. You won't need as much space for the elevator because this should only push it a couple blocks. But I'll think I'll give it that. Uh, oh, no. So uh, the, the the where was I? The cobblestone generator. As soon as this comes back, oh, I don't know why. Uh, so back here and the clock. Oh God, what's happening? The computer must be imploding on itself or something. Right. So uh, it's every time I speak, something something odd with that. Right. So. Uh, oh. I'll just try and explain it with the least movement possible. Uh, what I've done is I've actually uh, switched which block I, I lead this uh, lever on to because 
the block I had on at the moment meant that these uh, that the piston here when when the lever was switched so that the clock wasn't running the, this piston here was out which meant that this piston here which is the base for the elevator would have been up which obviously you don't want because you want blocks on top of it so uh, what I'm just going to do is I'll lead some stuff off here uh, you also want a redstone because you want this wait do you I don't no you don't you don't 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 um, no, what you do, you want you want that one a fraction of a second behind it. So switches to about two or something, and then you can start digging down. So um, it's easier if you if you do dig down because um, you can conceal it better. Because sand, uh, as I shall show you in a minute, um, actually like plonks itself on top of redstone rather than um, like. Uh, falling down on top of it. Right, so let's, let's uh, see if this works. Right, so, um, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, server's been, been off. Gonna have to replace on this redstone. Let's just stick one there. Try and put that back. Okay, right, so, so this works. Off we go! There we go. There we go. There we go. So that is how how the the elevator, cobblestone generator, and redstone clock works. So all you want to do is when you put it underground, you want to link that up uh, before the clock, and then uh, just yeah. So so link. You want to link uh, the button. So instead of having this lever linking to that, you want to link it to that, and then from that goes on to the clock. Hopefully that's not too confusing. If it is, you can just uh, send send uh, well, I said send me, send Harrison an email, or or YouTube comment, and I'll probably reply. So um, I think that's it for the cobblestone generator and the elevator. So what you want to do is you just want to build some sort of a concealing decoration around here, so it doesn't look like a piston pushing stuff up. I swear, was it? where am I going to go? If I can get over here, I think I shall build the destroyer. Uh, oh gosh! What? Uh, right, so I think I'll put. I'll only do um two uh, sets, two sets of um destroying things right now because it's uh, pretty difficult to link up. Inventory. Oh god, look at all that crap in my inventory. I should clean that out once in a while, so that goes up there. Um, some dirt down here. Oh, right, if it finally gets put down. There we go. Oh, I missed it on it. There we go. Right, back again. Uh, hopefully this will be the last time that will cut out on me. Uh, anyway, right, so where was I? I was just doing this. Right, so what uh, what you want to do is you'll have your input somewhere around here. So that'll be your button. Uh, and you'll just have some redstone coming off here. But you don't actually need a pulser for this one because it's only one pulse. So you can just lead it straight off of here. Um, right, so if I just bring that around there. Probably need some more redstone. Yeah, I'll just get some more sixty-two. Yeah, so if I were to pow if I were to put it up like that, it and then bring this redstone to the top of this block, it will power this one and that one only. Unless, of course, you had one above it, in which case it will power the one that would go here and that one. But uh, this timing it is that uh, the top one goes first. Like the top, like set. So uh, each of these, each two of these is a, like a, a set. I think I like to call them. Yes, I'll call them a set. Uh, and what you want to do is you want the first set to activate first, like slightly before the second set, and the third set, and the fourth and the fifth set. So if you power the top set, it will. It may power the second set. 
No, no, that... Sorry, what am I on about? What am I on about? So powering the top set like this won't power the second set. Because this one will only power that block there. Obviously there isn't a block there, apart from air. And that one there. So you want to do the same on this side, here. Like that. And leave that down there. Uh, and then you'll want to power these ones down here. Like... I'll put this one down here. Um... Should we dig a hole? Nah, nah, I'll just, uh... Let's do that there. Put that down there. There we go. Uh, and then do the same around here. Just go around here. You want extra space because you're going to put in a redstone with Peter. Around here. Like that up there. So if you want the second set to be powered slightly after, you'll have to put in a redstone repeater, like, put it here, and power it to one. One, because you only want it to happen a, a fraction of a second after, and also because later sets, sets three and four, you can set to three and four. And then if you're having more than four, you can put another repeater and set that one to one, so it'll be, effectively, it'll be set to five. Uh, so yeah, you want to do the same over here. And hopefully, if we just activate this, it will um, not work. So, if you actually want to see what's not working about it, if you just do that, right? So that is that is working. Ah, uh, right. Uh, yeah, I see. I see. It's because I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to power it too far, and it's not it's not going to go that far. So what you want to do is, I like using this little, nice little sequence, rather than a redstone repeater to carry on the power. I don't know why, I think it's just a force of habit. So if you just stick that there, that there, and that like that, it will carry on the signal. Right. So hopefully, all those will be at least trying to be powered. Um, so these ones, this uh, normal pistons, will also want to be powered after the other ones. So you want to put in extra redstone repeats for that one. So that one will be set to 1. And this one will be set to 3 because you want it to happen after this one. So this one will be set to 3. Oh, 1, ugh, one 2, 3. So it'll be set, set to 3, yeah. And hopefully that shall work. Now let's give it a try. Hopefully it'll work before it's night time. Um, right, so that one is actually happening before the other one. I think that is because um, I think it's actually being powered in some other some other way. Here, that's it. That's it. It's such a time day. See this this thing is so fiddly. Is is like you know you've got to be like kind of experience with redstone to actually get it working because you've got to know know the rules and stuff like that so for example if I powered this and then got rid of this block here it would still be powered because it's being powered by that block I believe I believe it'll be that block so if I get rid of this block or not this block right, so somehow it's being magically ghost powered Obviously, because I didn't get rid of that. Obviously. So. But if I were to put this back in, like so. Um, that didn't quite work. So if I were to put this back in and power this, I think that second one would not work. Oh god, oh god. He really does need to get this sorted out. I don't think I'm going to do any more videos on, on his computer anytime soon. He'll be back in a second. Right, so I'm back. Uh, oh, sorry about all this. I should have been more prepared, I suppose. I should, like, you know, try and figure it out why these things don't work before. You can see that this top one is actually working because it's, it's sort of disappearing. If 
you see, if you watch that, it's it's disappearing for a fraction of a second. We want to power that one. Uh, hopefully that will work. Right, so that one is being powered before that one. If we will just try and find out why that is. So we'll come around here. Is that being powered? Yep. Is that being powered? Yep. You'll want even more of a delay on that one. So you wanna, you wanna, you wanna what will you wanna do? You wanna put in an extra, extra space to do. To, to, right, so we'll just leave this back here. All the way around here, and I'll just get rid of that. Stick that there, and I'll put another one there. So this this does require a lot of like fiddling around to to try and make. It work. Right, so that is working, I think. So if we just pop that out there, try it out. Right, so that that is actually working. So if I were to stand up here uh, and then press the button, I would fall down safely and I wouldn't get hurt. So that is it for the each of the components. I'll just give you a few tips on, on how to wire it up. So if I just come down, come around here. This is my old elevator, the one that I built. Come back around here. Right, so this is the the destroyer link up. That is obviously very complicated, and I think it's by far the, the probably the least efficient way of wiring up completely. It requires a, a lot of working out. So if someone, I don't know, if they want to like post a link to a better, better video of wiring it up or whatever you want to do, you can do that. It's fine by me. If you want, uh, so this is the clock that is completely not necessary. I don't know why I put it in. And if I just come down here. Coming down to the the elevator and cobblestone generator link up. Right, so the the button that's the but that leads up to the button. It comes down here and it powers the the monostable circuit. So this is the XNOR gate, I believe, and that is the timer. Uh, it needs pretty much that many to to power a, a decent amount of blocks. And then it, co it comes around here onto the clock. This is the redstone clock. And it will go under there. Right, so over there is, is actually the uh, cobblestone generator. I'm not sure whether you can see it or not. No, but under there is the cobblestone generator. And that just goes up to, to the elevator. Now, I think that's it for the tutorial. Uh, I shall just leave you with the final view of the elevator. So you're going up. Uh, that was my version of elevator music, and you go back down by pressing this. So that is it for me. Uh, that's it for the elevator tutorial as well. So I shall leave you with a, a farewell and a very good luck from us at the crafting pair. Goodbye.